Hello there. It's Melanie of Art Studio 320 and it's time for another project. This little guy I found at Goodwill and I believe it was $4.99, something like that. I think it's a little MCM. I thought that I would spread my creative wings just a little bit. I've been fairly conservative in the furniture world. I usually just kind of dive in and I see some really cool things going on out there. Yeah, I want to be part of it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment and press that red button. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can find me on Etsy where I'm selling some of my past projects that I've done right here on my channel. You can also purchase some of my artwork on my website. All of those links will be in the description box below along with all of the materials I use this week. Stick around. I'm using vinegar and water to clean off my piece and I am starting with a 120 grit on my orbital sander because I'm not quite sure how fast I'm going to get down to the veneer. Uh, the veneer isn't very thick and I didn't want to wreck anything. There was already enough <laughs> destruction on this piece. I have this plastic wood X that I use and when you buy it, it's bright pink. And the good thing about it is you can get it wet over and over again and it keeps working over and over again. I wanted to get rid of these little lines in the drawer because I'm going to be painting a design on the drawer and I didn't want anything to get in the way. This piece was rough around the edges, literally. <laughs> there were so many spots like this one and I had to go over it a few times to make sure that I found them all. It was kind of crazy. I'm going to take off the bottom. So it, it was actually very easy to take off because I'm going to be adding legs and the best part about this is those two pieces of wood I use on the bottom in order to attach my legs. It worked out really nicely. Using the jigsaw here to cut these two boards in half that I just took off the bottom of the piece and they are going to provide just the right thickness uh, for my legs. It, it worked out perfectly. Now I, I was trying to decide where to put the legs, if I should put them on the inside or if I should put them on the edge and it kind of depended on <laughs> where the uh, screws were going to go and at first I had to attach these and I wanted to pre-drill them before I put the screws in and I just had to make sure that I got the right size screw because I didn't want to screw through to the bottom of the piece. I see I check right there to make sure <laughs> but it was pretty thick. Now I started to pre-drill, but my bit was a little bit big and the screw went in a little too easily. I was afraid that the legs would be too loose. So I went ahead and I just screwed in the screws. It was fine. I just went slow so I wouldn't split any of the wood. These legs were cool. They came with these little rubbery plastic feet so you wouldn't uh, scratch the floor but one of them wasn't quite on right watch it's kind of crooked and i thought oh no but it was just that little piece was not centered i had to sand all of the wood filler off of course and you just want to make sure that you go slow um, obviously it looks like i'm going really fast but it's on time lapse and with the plastic wood X, you really have to be careful. Make sure you wear a mask because it is a toxic 
material. This next step is an important one. I'm choosing my color palette. And this is different than choosing maybe two colors for your piece. This is a design. So I messed around with the colors for a while until I came up with something that I really liked. Then I measured out the drawer and just made smaller versions of that in sketch form and tried to come up with a design that I thought would look good. I didn't want it to be too complicated, but at the same time, I didn't want it to be too simplistic. So I came up with a drawing that I already had that I had done a while ago, and um, I simplified it even more um, to put on the drawer. And I measured, sketched it out, but um, it had to be symmetrical. It, it wouldn't have looked right if I didn't measure. In fact, it wouldn't have worked because when I painted it, things would go off. So you have to measure and make sure everything is right where it has to be. The good news is you can stop and redo it if you need to. And I actually did need to redo that because the first time I started, I wasn't using a ruler. Now don't let this scare you. You can do anything you want. And yes, this takes some time and some thought, but it's not difficult. I purposefully painted from the outside in, so I, I felt like I would have more control over the design that way. And if something were to be off, it would be easier to tweak from the outside in. And I mean, I could be wrong about that, but it did work pretty well for me. I just did one color at a time and just worked my way down into the center. Speaking of color, I kind of worked that out in my head as I went along, trying to keep it balanced. I didn't want one color to dominate more than another. I wanted them to work together. And you see me here, I'm writing out the colors, counting out how many colors of each and how they would be balanced. I ended up changing it the next day because I discovered there were a couple of colors that were too close together. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday and it's really yucky outside, but I feel nice and bright and cheery <laughs> because I don't have this huge weight on me that I had last week when I was working on my bar cart. Check that video out. It's a good one. You learn a lot. Okay, so this week I am having some fun with painting. It's a weird transfer from a canvas or a paper. Well, this is actually a copy, but this is one of my drawings. It's a mandala. I have drawn many, many, many of them. I actually have a coloring book that you can purchase on my website. That is in the links below in the description box. <laughs> a little plug there. I broke some of my own rules last night. When I draw these, I don't use a ruler. I use a compass to get my circles in the beginning. There's a video about how to draw a mandala. But anyway, you start with a compass and you draw your circles. And that's all I use is a compass. Then I'm done and everything else is freehand. I do not use a ruler. So it pained me to break that rule and use a ruler last night. I started without one and you see that in the video. It took me a while to get what I wanted. It was a very surreal experience to try and redraw something I've drawn before. I just wanted to use the bones of the drawing I just showed you. I came up with a drawing that was somewhat symmetrical. I'm excited because this is way 
out of what I would do on a piece of furniture. So I'm gonna get to work. I labeled each of the triangles so that hopefully it'll make the process a little bit faster. So I'm gonna get going here. Stick around. So I've made it to the center of the drawer. It, it's not harder. It, in fact, it's a little easier because the, the triangles are smaller so they'll dry faster. But I had to tweak them a little bit here and there just to make sure that the triangles lined up. Some of them actually overlapped a little and I thought that was cool looking, so I left it that way. The best part about creating your own design is you are the boss and you can decide if it looks good or if it doesn't look good to you. You are the one that makes that decision. Just you, you're the artist. Just adding a little bit of wood filler after I painted because it, it didn't look good to me. I wanted to make sure it was covered nicely. Now I'm just making a few little adjustments and some touch-ups and the drawer is good to go. Now the sides of the piece are a little bit easier. I just wanted uh, four triangles and I just needed to find the center and go from there. I should tell you the colors I used. I This color is Tobacco by Melange. It's actually a Melange one, all in one. I used Harbor, which is the blue, and that is actually a silk all in one mineral paint by Dixie Bell. And then I used uh, Sophie's Pink, and that is from Melange. And the last one, is the purple color and it's called Mariposa Mauve by Melange. I'm using Minwax Polycrylic. It's a water-based extra flat top coat. I put on two coats over the whole thing. There was a couple of paints in here that did have top coat in them, but you can put top coat over another top coat. It's okay. Well, it's time to put the hardware on. I chose a mid-century modern cone shape knob and I think it looks pretty cool. Well friends, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting and fun and I hope it inspires something in you to get out there and be creative. Don't forget to stick around for the after photos. Thanks for being here. See you next time. You can do it. <laughs> you said, let me tell you everything I've seen, the friends I've made, and then you tell me how you've been. Look
look a little closer It's been quite some time But you gotta let me know If I'm out of line But there's some words that I just wanna say To put it all straight before this night turns into day And then I'm on my way Yeah Yes, I'm on my way